What's up? My beloved gang, Travis Aaron Fisher. And yes, I'm on the mountain bike again. Cruising up Smuggler Mountain. And that beeping you hear in the background. It's the new heart rate monitor that I picked up. couple weeks old <clears throat> but this is my first ride with it focus and that beeping is telling me to back off <laughs> a little hard at the bottom is showing that it's picking up my heart rate the down a down arrow is saying chill out you're pushing too much I can't tell you how many times I've done this ride without a heart rate monitor. And probably at the same pace, same heart rate, and never thought twice about it. So, this device is a mechanical measure of my heart rate. Which is pretty cool that we can have a device to check that out. Uh, or to give us a reading and see where we're at. So since I just stopped, you can see that it quickly dropped from 178 to, or 181 I think is where we started, to 164. All right, I'm up to the platform at Smuggler. I would say the top, it's not really the top of the mountain, but it is the top of this ride. So from the viewing platform, you can see over the town of Aspen, kind of a junction point as far as being able to uh, split off onto some other trails or climb higher. So I was just going to take a little break here and show you that after stopping for just a few minutes here, um, or being stopped for a few minutes, that my heart rate has dropped down to 145. So that is almost... 40 beats per minute that it's dropped in a few minutes and the alarm's not going off telling me to chill out <laughs> or back it off. So like I said, it's cool that there is that mechanical device that can give us a reading on our heart rate, but taking that to the supernatural realm, this is where I had a powerful vision on June 19th, on Father's Day this year. praying over the town with my hands up and my eyes closed. And as my eyes were closed, I saw a bright light across the mountain, basically right over uh, at the top of Ruthie's there. So it was kind of, kind of in this range somewhere uh, in front of Highlands Bowl, which you see in the background but it was pitch black out here. And just being able to see that vision was an absolute incredible experience. And there's no doubt that it was the supernatural. So for a supernatural or spirit heart rate monitor, what do we have to get that reading, to give us feedback? journey trying to figure out and for me it was really being able to create an environment where it wasn't something really intentional that night besides knowing that I needed to get out in the wilderness and have some one-on-one -on -one time with God that was the first step of it but a lot of it took place before that as far as being conscious and intentional about getting closer to God to drawing near to Christ and to see God in the beauty around here is not too hard as you can tell it is just phenomenal right now with the fall colors with even the snow way back there on the peak on maroon bells which is probably a little hard to see right now uh, but just a 
absolute glorious place. So a lot of times it's not so hard to see God in a place like this, just in creation. But can we see God? Can we feel God in our heart? Can we let God touch our heart? Can we have the Holy Spirit touch us in a supernatural way? So I think with me breaking away and being able to come up here, just be on my own, nobody else around. It was three in the morning, so <laughs> there shouldn't be anybody else around. But to have just an incredible experience with Jesus Christ, my Savior. And you can even see at the base of Aspen Mountain right over there. Obviously, we're way across the valley, and the iPhone is not picking up a whole lot of it. But what I could see that night, like on the right side of the base of Aspen Mountain, there are basically three little open areas, which are kind of, kind of the dark areas right in here. And since it was three in the morning, there were some lights in there that were outlining kind of three dark prongs. And this vision dropped down, this bright white light that was in that vision, then had three parts of it that filled those dark voids in Aspen, in this town. And you can see that all three of those parts are are really reaching into this town, especially the road. That road is kind of a main vein into this town, if you want to look at, that, look at it that way. The other ones are in this town, but they're not attached in the same way. If I hear a beeping in my spiritual heart rate, that would definitely be supernatural too. But like my heart rate monitor on the watch, if that's beeping and telling me to back off or chill out because I'm too exerted. If I roll that over into my spiritual life, if I'm hearing a beeping that's telling me that I'm going too hard and too much, I think it's the opposite. That I actually want to keep going for more. <laughs> so like that night of the vision, when I started to see that light, heart monitor is intensifying, but I'm just asking for more. I'm going for more. I even want to go bigger. I want that spiritual heart rate to speed up, to intensify. So I just kept pushing for more. And I think that's when the heavens opened up. So when we have, or start to have a supernatural experience, don't back off. Don't slow down pick up the cadence, go faster, go harder, go bigger, and see what God will deliver. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So if we look at that main vein as the Holy Spirit that is still in this town that is working, and then the other two as Jesus Christ and the Heavenly Father, that all three, that that one God, the Trinity, and the three persons are all in this town, that they're filling the voids that people have in their lives, in their hearts, minds, and souls, that he is bringing, that God is bringing, that the Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are bringing restoration and revival to this town. So as I'm physically standing on higher ground, and I continue my pursuit finding intimacy with Jesus Christ. I ask you to jump in and join me to understand at a deeper level what intimacy with Christ means. It is a beautifully powerful and incredible experience. And one of those indications of intimacy with Jesus Christ is that we can have supernatural visions. And obviously there are many others so as we look at more of this, give you different channels of, or indicators, measurements. When you say, how do I know that I have intimacy with Christ? You can pick up on these little pieces and say, I know, I have certainty that I have intimacy with my Savior, with Jesus Christ. 
come on. Let's let's roll. Let's climb. Let's work. Let's get to higher ground. So I love you. We'll see you on one of these mountaintops around here. But remember, it is the Lord's higher.